Hi, Namaskaram. Welcome to another video of a Vortex Systems channel. I am sharing information regarding Idimbra water level controller installed in my home. You might have seen similar videos or you may be searching for one. If you continue watching this video, you will have enough information in this video to understand more of a water level controller. I am sure that you will understand extra information that you did not see in other videos. In all our houses, it is common to see water wasting through tank overflow. In my house, one HP water motor will take around 20 minutes to fill the tank. In this time, if your attention went somewhere, then overflow is sure. If overflow happens at night, we will not even know about the overflow. These are all worries which prompted me to install a water tank overflow controller. Rupees 3000 for controller, Rupees 500 for uh, 20 meter cable, Rupees 100 for courier charge. It took uh, almost 3 days for a parcel to arrive. Now we will unbox the courier packet. Let us open it. This is 20 meter cable that cost rupees 500. These are all different sensors used to understand the level of water in water tank. It is important to mention here that we will not feel any shock when we touch sensors while they are inside water or outside. I had a fear that we will get shock when we touch sensors, especially when I heard about AC sensing as it is one of the features. Actually there is nothing to fear. There are six sensors in the packet. Besides, there are insulation sleeves to insulate wires, cable tie, waterproof insulation, screws, etc. All necessary accessories are there in the parcel. These are the sensors to sense waterfall in water tank. When motor is running, this sensor helps to sense dry run and after no, 2 minutes it will switch off motor if there is no water front. coming from motor. This is Arimbra water level controller. There is warranty guard, there is connection diagram. These are all inside the parcel. We will see all after installed. Let us install it. Installing sensors in water tank is the main issue. Our tank is not ready made PVC container but made of concrete. Tank's height is 1 meter. To fix sensors, I took 1 meter PVC pipe and in 5 places I made 5 holes. And I fixed sensors like seen in this pipe. Very down is common wire which is a red color. Then a yellow color wire to show 25 percentage of water level. Then 50 percentage that is black color. Here is the blue color wire to show 75 percentage of water level. The last sensor is green color wire. It shows that water level reached 100 percentage. At this level motor will switch off. We have fixed all sensors like this. We will install this pipe with the sensors in water tank. Here you can see how we fixed the pipe with sensors in water tank. With the T-connector pipe we extended pipe in two directions. Pipe with water level sensors goes down the water. 
through the pipe laid straight dry run sensor wire is going here is dry run sensor fixed water coming from water pump is falling first on dry run sensor then to tank now we will go down to see how water level controller is fixed there we have fixed two screws on the wall based on the level of hanging holes of imbra controller let us be familiar with led lights and switches in controller these four green led lights indicate level of water in water tank the lowest led light shows 25% water in tank second led light shows 50% water in tank third led light shows 75% water level top led light shows 100% water level in water tank when the fourth led light gets on that is 100% water level then motor will switch off On the left side of controller there is a white switch that is used to set controller either manual or automatic. When this switch is set in automatic position when water level comes to below 50 percentage that is only 25 percentage water level LED is on. Controller will switch on motor automatically. When water level comes to 100 percentage it will switch off motor automatically. Below 50 percentage means only the lowest LED light is on. When we put the white switch to automatic position when water level is above 50 percentage motor will not get on. If you want to switch on motor at this stage press the need button then motor will switch on. So we use the need button if you want to fill the tank when the water level is not below 50 percentage. Remember that putting white switch to manual will not switch off motor automatically when the tank is full but need button will do it. Remember that we cannot use the need button to switch on motor pump for purposes other than filling water tank like agriculture because if we operate motor and a dry sensor does not sense water flow in water tank for 2 minutes motor will switch off automatically to avoid dry run. So we can use need button only to fill water tank and automatically switch off motor. For agriculture watering purposes put the white switch in manual mode then there is no auto switch off function. When we make this switch manual all auto functions including LED lights will be turned off. When the water level controller device is switched on, LED light will blink three times. There are four LED lights inside the tank picture as you can see will light up according to water level. Here we see only bottom two LED lights. It means there is water level below 75 percentage but above 50 percentage. Since water level is above 50 percentage motor will not auto on. Motor will auto on only if it is below 50 percentage. Now we will see tanks water level and corresponding controllers LED lights in one screen. This is 100 percentage sensor. This is 75 percentage sensor. LED light is blinking three times. Water is now below 50 percentage. After sensing water level controller shows only one LED light. So motor will soon be switched on. Motor switch is now turned on. Water came. Water flow like blinking blue lights shows the fall of water in tank. Red LED light inside motor picture shows motor is working. Remember controllers switch to be automatic. LED light showing 50% water level is going to turn on. It is now turned on. Now two LED light turned on.
water is going to touch the sensor of 75 by the water level It has started to light up the third LED for 75 by 75. Water is going to touch the sensor for 100 percentage water level. Yes, now last LED light got to turn on showing 100 percentage water level. With this motor will get switched off. Now motor turned off, water flow stopped. In my case, since this motor is connected to inverter for using solar power, motor is not allowed to run automatically. Power to water level controller goes through a timer switch which keeps on only during sun time. How to connect this device with the motor and the sensor wires? There are three wires in power cable, load in and load out with common neutral wire. Sensor cable wires from controller need to connect with the same colored sensor wires from water tank. This is important. Here you see a sample installation diagram. If you don't have starter switch, you can connect wires directly to motor. At the time we clean water tank, after removing dirty water, what will you do to get some fresh water to fill in the bucket for further cleaning? We need to switch on motor for a few seconds, right? As per Edinburgh system, we already understood motor will switch on automatically if water level is below 50% but will switch off automatically only after water in the tank becomes 100% full. Our requirement is we need switch on motor for a few seconds only. Our finding in Edinburgh system is a cleaner himself can do it without going out of water tank or without telling anyone to switch on motor. This is what we are going to show you next. Take two low gauge wires because we are going to handle with the low DC signals. One wire longer than the other. Connect longer wire with the common red wire sensor at the bottom. The other wire is connected with the sensor for 100% In the Edinburgh controller down, white switch to be automatic. When ends of these two wires are touching each other, motor will be turned off. When these wires are disconnected, motor will again get switched on. In video, you will see these things done by way of a DC switch. This switch is taken from a toy for a kids. To take some water for cleaning, turn this switch off. Then these two wires get disconnected. It will make motor on. When we put this DC switch on, it will connect to wires. So motor will get switched off. Let us test this scenario. Water level in tank is below 10% now. As per normal working of water level controller, motor should be on, but it is not, because our DC switch is now on. That means two additional wires are in touch each other. When they are in touch, motor will be off. Now let us change the DC switch in opposite position, that is these two wires are disconnected. Then motor will be turned on. Now water has come. Now let us put in opposite position, that is on position. Then motor will be turned off. Yes, water flow has stopped now. 
Thus we can operate a Nimbra water level controller in this way also. It is very useful while cleaning tank. When we switch off motor from water tank, LED light showing 100% water level will remain lit like in video. There is no water sensing for other LED lights. That is, they are not showing light. I think I have explained all about Edinburgh water level controller. If you have any doubt, to please comment and ask. I am happy to reply. If you like this video, please comment and like. If you did not subscribe, please subscribe as soon as possible. Namaskaram till we see in another video.